Welcome back. This is lesson number 11 of Beginner Guitar Songs for Grown-Ups. In this lesson, we're going to apply everything that we've been working on so far, and you're going to learn your very first easy guitar song. More importantly than learning a song is actually how to learn a song. And I'm just using this song mostly as an example of how to go about learning some simple guitar songs. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need these three chords that we've worked on. The G, the C, I'm going to refer to it just as C, but it's really C add 9, know that. And you'll see on, when you see the sheet music I have, you'll see just C, use this one, C add 9, it will be fine. And then the D. Okay, so this is the song Amazing Grace. It's in three quarter time. All that means is that for each measure or bar in the song, there's going to be three pulses. So it's going to sound like this. We're just going to strum straight down the start. the sound on G that sing of it like to D me Couple of things. First, make sure you download the sheet or at least have it available on, on the computer screen. It'll help you see how this chords line up with the words. And secondly, I just want to give you a little theory. This is actually in the key of G. We don't have to go too much into that right now, but you can kind of tell it starts with the G chord and ends on the G chord. That's one clue. So these three chords are often found in the key of G also. More on that later. First off, I want you to just slowly try playing along with me and listen to the words to decide where to change. Look on your sheet, have it handy, and you can kind of see which word we're going to change on. I'll point them out, and I'm going to go slow. So go ahead and play along with me now. Um, start on G. Amazing grace. We're going to change on sound. Sweet. Oh, sweet to see. The and sound back to G. That's it. Rich. Like back to D now. D on, D on me. <laughs> back to G. I'm once was lost. More G's. But we're going to C now. So that's one way to do it. Another way is to look at the sheet, and I've actually put exactly one slash for every strum of this chord. Let's take a look at that now. Okay, take a look at the sheet music here. This on top is the chords, the melody is these notes, and then the words are right under the melody. You'll see that there's a note and a, a partial uh, word, just to give you an idea what syllable to sing for each note. Now for the G chord, You'd strum one time down to start off with, one for the slash, one for the slash. That's three beats. This is a measure, by the way, between these two lines. That's one measure. So it's three pulses or strums per measure. Now you'll stay with the G on this one. If you don't see another chord, that just means play the same chord three times. One, two, three. Now we're changing to the C chord. In your case, you'll be using that C add nine. Strum the C once, twice, and three times. And then back to the G. One, two, three. So here's how it sounds. I'm going to start off singing amazing. Uh, uh, and on amazing, amazing grace. How to C. 
see. Sweet the back to G sound. Two, three. That back to G on six. Say a bitch like to D. I'm back to G. Well, lost three G's, but going to C on the last line. Now I'm found. Back to G. Was blind, but still G. But to D, now I see. So you can try it both ways. You can try playing the chords along with the words. Uh, G, zing, grace, so G, how sweet the to sound. You change right on the words, or you can try just counting the slashes. Really, once you get into it, you'll find that you can hear the melody and hear where the chord's supposed to change, but it takes practice. Okay, so there's a couple ways to go about practicing a song using a sheet. I want to add a little bit of strum to this and only do this if you're ready. The strum we're going to use is just down, down, up, down, up. It's almost exactly the same as the lesson before, uh, two lessons back, but now instead of uh, four beats, it's only three beats. So this is one, two, and three, and then you start over. One, two, and three, and. So try that strum with me just a sec. One, ready, start. Down, down, up, down. Up. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three. And. So now, if you're ready, you want to try playing with the sheet music, and for every slash, you're going to either put a straight down or a down up. In the beginning of the measure, the measure is those two little lines, remember? In the beginning of the measure, you use just a down, and then for the next slash, a down up, and the next slash, down up, and then you start over. So it's going to sound like this. Uh, and I'm going to start amazing. That's why I'll start the strumming. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a bitch like me. That's to give you an example of how it's going to sound. Now, you don't have to stop there. You can use the same approach for other songs. Here's another example. I won't go to the whole song, but just giving an example. Same chords, a little different strum. This is in four beats, so it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, like lesson number nine. This land is yours. a neat little trick to show you today. This is a capo, and it's a very valuable tool to have in your toolkit, both in terms of how to use it as well as physically to have one. They're very inexpensive, and of course you can't pay a lot of money if you want, but you need to have one, even if it is an inexpensive one. Okay, I want to give you a demonstration first on why I might want to use a capo, and then I'll show you some tips on how to make it sound good. Let me show you a song that you can play with the three chords that we've learned so far. The G, the C add 9, and the D. Start on the G. This land is your land. This land is your land. The C. This land is my land. The G. From California to the New York Island. From the Red Let's say that song's a little 
low for my voice, I would put a capo right on one of the frets and actually raise the song with the exact same chords. So I'm going to put it on the first fret. Now I can play the same song. Everything just went up one fret or one step. It's what we say musically. This land is your land. This land. If that was still too low, I just go up another fret. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm making sure the capo is close to the fret, but not on top of it. And I'm making sure that all the strings sound when I put it on. Good, it sounds good. If you're not careful, you might get something like this. You don't want that. I need it close to the fret, but not on top, and covering all the strings evenly. Good. This land is your oh, where's, how's it go? This land is your land. This land is my land. So that's it for this lesson. Your assignment is to get a capo and just play around with it for now. In the next lesson, lesson number 12, the final lesson of this series, I'm going to give you some tips and ideas on how to get better, how to proceed from here and continue to improve your guitar skills. Till then, see you soon.